Well, Herman, does the FA Cup remain one of your biggest triumphs with Portsmouth? Yeah, 100%. Uh, biggest moment of my career, for sure. And when, the best. when you came here, did, did you expect to reach those heights? Did, or did you think you would just come into a Premier League football club to see out your days? Uh, well, it was a club on the up and the players had, uh, that were there, you know, you, you, you thought, we got a chance of something. Yeah, that's for sure. But... Uh, there are always the big, big four, five, six clubs that, 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 have, that usually have the pick of these trophies. So, so you know, you believe, and uh, yeah, it was uh, unbelievable. If a turning point came, it was that day at Old Trafford because there nobody there that seemed they could stop you after that, was there? No, I, I mean, it was a realisation there after the game, obviously when Chelsea were knocked out as well, that and the way the way we beat Man United as well, you thought, hang on a minute, this is ours to lose now. And, and it's not easy though, there's nothing given in football, we know that, so we had to be really professional and make sure we'd, uh, we had the best team on paper in the, of the last four, so we had to make sure we'd bring the trophy home. You didn't score a lot of goals in that cup. But yeah, uh, he scored seven. But you only conceded one. It, it was built on a really strong defence, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, that, that, that's uh, that was sort of throughout the season. We 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 were uh, kept quite a few clean sheets. Say, uh, yeah, it was five five one nils and uh, two mm. one, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so we we always. Uh, I mean, if we scored, we thought, okay. This will take us far. Yeah, so yeah, obviously there's a good base for any team to, to keep clean sheets. You did seem to have luck on your side as well at Preston. I mean, clear up who actually, who actually got that goal at the end because it's attributed to Carter's own goal. But tell us, did you get a touch? Yeah, it's my goal for 100%, so let's put that right right now. <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, I think I scored it with my hand, but you know, hey ho, <laughs> you can tell that now. No, uh, yeah, it was a scrap, but uh, yeah, that's a clear up. My goal. <laughs> and, and and the two semi-finals again. It wasn't plain sailing, but y you were able to do enough. Yeah, again, you know, about Preston, uh, David James saved the penalty as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah it was. It, it wasn't uh, walking the park any of these games. So uh, yeah, when the final final whistle blew, in the <laughs> yeah, the best day ever. Because you were expected to beat Cardiff, but that actually put pressure on you itself, didn't it? Yeah, of course. It was the same in the semi-final. We were expected to beat the West Brom. So, so but, uh, you know, you have to be professional, of course, in these situations and don't take anything for granted and, and make things happen. And, and, you know, it's a cup game. Anything can happen. We, we know that. Can you describe the moment when that final whistle goes and you know you've won the FA Cup? Probably not, no, but, but uh, yeah, extreme, extreme euphoria of, of happiness and, uh, you know, just this was a moment that was going to, you know, stay with me forever and that, uh, you know, having having got a hold of a big, big medal in the FA Cup that was, uh, that was extremely important to me. You certainly celebrated well for the next two days. <laughs> well, I had a broken cheekbone, so <laughs> so uh, I had a couple of beers to to numb that pain. <laughs> yeah, so no, yeah, I mean, you, the, these are the moments you dream of to to win something major, it's a major trophy, and if you if you're not going to celebrate that, why are you playing the game? <laughs> you were such a wholehearted player. You you were and are a major favourite with all Pompey fans. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I had a really, really unbelievable connection with him, and a, you know, great connection, and uh, and that's that's uh, the point of it, or that that's a part of it which uh, they can relate to. You know, I'll I'll put it all in, and I will you know play with uh, my heart on my sleeve, and you know, give it all. Permanator sums you up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was lucky to to have the opportunity to to play for those fans for that many years, and, and uh, 
to have such a you know such a privilege to play at such a wonderful club. And I remember you brought your Iceland team back to Portsmouth because you cared so much about that. Yeah, I mean it was such such difficult times, and if there was anything we could do to help, that, that was that was definitely that you know. Uh, it, it all went towards the supporters' trust, supporters' yeah. trust, uh, which have, had just taken over that time. So, yeah, uh, well, it's the least thing you can do to give something back after all those wonderful years and wonderful, yeah, times. Did it hurt you to see the times Portsmouth were going through when you left? Yeah, of course, of course, it, it, it's, it's yeah, really painful, you know, because. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the clubs belong to the fans, and fans, uh, you know, with that sort of support, they come and support the team week in, week out, uh, whatever ha is happening. So it's, it is painful for everyone because it's more than just football. It is, it is, uh, it's a community that, that thrives on, the, on that football club. I mean, we talk about that FA Cup victory, but it was just after that that things seemed to unravel a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's something you couldn't do anything about. Really, it's behind the scenes money, money stuff. So yeah, it's, yeah, there's not a lot you can do about that, or, or anyone can do about that as players or, or staff. But that's the owners to deal with. And then you come back in your afterlife to Fratton Park again the other week as, a, as a, an assistant manager with Sol Campbell, of course, who was very much by your side in that cup victory. Um, so tell us about the future. Well, yeah, we've just come in here, and uh, you know, I worked with Sol in the summer, and, and uh, I really think he's he's got a great career ahead of him in, in the managerial position. So, uh, and we have a good relationship between ourselves, working relationship, which is uh, which is key, obviously, when you try and taking on taking on a big challenge like this. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we've just started here, but we're, we're looking forward to our. Well, the Portsmouth fans still love you, Herman, and they always will. Thank you, mate. Thank you.